It's Michael from agiletraining.co.uk. So welcome to my another uh, free tutorial, which is dedicated this time to screens. You know, it's uh, very interesting, very, very, very interesting um, feature in your option, let's say. And this time I'm going to show you what a screen is, you know, and we can also have some fun with it. I'm going to show you how to add or remove element from create screen. And also I'm going to show you how to implement super quickly uh, screen into workflow because they are like connected to each other. A very powerful actually feature. So, okay, let's jump very quickly into our server again. This time we're going to talk about the server, but again, it's a very, very same way to do it in a cloud. All right, so we are actually looking at the moment on my very default uh, installation of this of the server. I don't have any, actually that many projects, but let's focus on that uh, actually Python app dev. And by the way, this is actually it doesn't really matter if it's Agile or Scrum or you may be using Jacor, so you don't have to use uh, Agile methodology in your project whatsoever. So let's see first of all what actually a screen is. So every time when you see this uh, like like the pop up. This is actually a screen. So yeah, this pop-up actually it is a screen in Jira, and they are highly actually configurable. And believe me, you know, I, this is like still a bit surprised to me. Sometimes people, scrum masters, Jira administrators, uh, do not actually use full potential of that. And look at this. First of all, obviously, when you create the issue, uh, I would say you probably do not need that many informations on this actually screen and obviously it's an easy way to um, like trim it down without screen configuration you can do it yourself and by the way simple simple you can, it's, it's highly actually customized and it's going to be assigned to your users you can actually go to the fields go for that custom and obviously i don't really maybe need assigning components uh, I just need description and priority. So look, look, look cool, you know? So that's absolutely fine, you know? And, and actually I'm advising every single time to use that functionality. But, you know, maybe, maybe it's an easier way to do it. Maybe, you know, we could actually completely uh, set it up like from the system. So it's actually stop confusing users because some people don't really care about this stuff. Or, you know, could be very, very opposite. Maybe some actually fields because this is like this what you can see over here it's actually the fields maybe some fields are missing like you know maybe you want to add some kind of like what operating system or what a version of your app or whatever you know something or due date is missing or, or whatever else so absolutely very simple uh, very very actually simple thing to do it in just so let's do it obviously you need to be at least uh, project administrator because you won't gonna uh, you won't gonna actually you won't gonna see this project settings if you are not project administrator so be aware uh, that operations require a little bit more permission okay so now we're gonna go for the project settings very same way very same way by the way if we go to the uh, to the project let's see like whatever back buddy go for projects and go for this one it's gonna be absolutely same way that's why I'm, I'm just focusing this time on the server so let's go for the screens and so as you can see the screens are also what is what is interesting about this the screens are different regarding different issue types so if you've got for instance back and story we can have completely different set of of basically fills when we creating when we creating issues. So for for back maybe it could be like just maybe we need only three uh, three fields and maybe you know for first story we need a little bit more or maybe we need some extra customize. So at the moment I'm I'm not going to actually explain you uh, how to do it, but at the moment GR actually by default is sharing that three screens for every step. So for create a view issue, but they could be very easily actually split. We could set it up separately but we're going to talk about this maybe next time or if you want to if you want to see this let's let me know in the comment yeah so let right right now let's have a look what is going to happen if we focus on just the back yes because back something simple they may be not supposed to be that many actually options over here so look at this how easy is to now remove it very very simple we maybe don't need epics we don't need to link the issues uh, I'm not gonna go obviously with everyone, but uh, you know, let's just like run almost randomly remove 
almost everything. And then, you know, I don't really even need a component. So comment is always is, is mandatory. However, be careful with this because you can also that will also affect this time. This is also going to affect actually view and edit. So my advice is just first of all, first step always going to be create a separate actually screen for create issue because right now it could be a problem and let's see let's see now let's see what's gonna what's gonna happen now so i'm gonna leave it uh, just duplicate that tab and like we're gonna hit the create oh, let's actually go to the project project there we go so look at this what's gonna be the difference so let's actually select everything yeah and when i switch between actually back and the task and you can see the different instantly however sometimes sometimes you know you can remove too many things uh, but in this case it's absolutely fine you know so let's see we've got our actually ticket right here and because because I removed actually that function for for, for almost every single screen edit and view I'm not also not going to be able to edit uh, for instance like I want to add a component right now no that's not possible yeah so be just be careful with that so very simple you know process and uh, screens could be actually they, they can be configured in each issue types separately yeah so maybe we've got a different for epic we've got different for a story and we've got different for a back in our case so but now you know that's not everything because there's also something interesting you can add screens also on the um, on the workflow. So why why the workflow is something? Because look at this. When I'm going to actually move this issue from backlog to select for development, there is absolutely any <laughs> information. So I can actually move it freely. But look at it because I've been rehearsing with this. When I move actually from in progress to done, something interesting happened. That, that screen actually is popping in, and I need to put a little bit extra information so resolution actually is mandatory so you actually select it but the rest is not mandatory uh, so how to do it again very it's a very 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 simple process you're gonna go to the project settings you go to the workflow obviously maybe you've got more workflows here yeah? maybe you've got two or three workflows so it depends I've got only one and I've got also simplify so administrator password is required and the workflow is associated always well uh, the screen can be always all, only only associated with a resolution and look at this what's going to happen when you go for edit i've got this resolved issue screen selected it's already selected and what's also the good news why i've selected this because this one is a default one so it also will it should be, it should be because you, i think you can delete it but by default uh is always in every single gear from version 6 so you can actually experiment and you're going to add it over here save it very important very very important step do not forget to publish it yeah because otherwise you won't be able to see any changes and after that go back let's go back to the project and you can test it and it's gonna be probably something like this all right so please leave a comment leave a like and let me know what do you think thank you very much for watching my tutorial